In this example, we want to show um, that the determinant of a plus b is equal to determinant of a plus the determinant of b. For, okay, for given that a is the identity matrix, two by two identity matrix, and b is a general two by two matrix. So if that's the case, okay, if this statement is true, okay, then that implies, okay, we want to show that this implies that a plus d is equal to zero, where a and d are real values. Okay, so this statement is an if-then statement. Okay, so this is, so just recall that um, this statement is in the form of P implies Q, where P is this, and Q is this statement. Okay, so we need to assume P, work with some of the um, matrix algebra, and then come up with our conclusion of Q. Okay. So let's start with this. Let's start to calculate the determinant of A plus B. So the determinant of A plus B is going to give us, okay, it's going to be, um, we're going to go ahead and add A, A plus B. That's going to be A plus 1, B, and then we have C here, and then we have D plus 1, okay. So the determinant of this, remember, it's just the uh, determinant using the uh, formula for determinant of two by two matrix. So this is just going to be A plus one times D plus one minus BC, okay? So let's go ahead and simplify this. Okay, so we're gonna expand this out. This is gonna give us A times D plus A plus D plus one minus B C. Okay. So now let's calculate the determinant of A. Okay. So the determinant of A is just gonna be one because it's identity matrices, identity matrix. So all the determinants of identity matrices are always one. Okay, so this is gonna give us one. The determinant of B is going to be, again, just applying the, the formula for finding the determinant of a two by two matrix. So this is going to be A times D minus B times C. Okay. So we have, okay, so we have the determinant of A plus B. We have the determinant of A. We have the determinant of B. So let's equate these. So we're going to get Let's go over here. So we have A, D, plus A, plus D, plus 1, minus B, C, equals to 1 plus A times D, minus B, C. Okay. So, again, this is the determinant of A plus B. And this is the determinant of A. And this is the determinant of B. Okay. So we have everything now. Okay. Okay, so let's simplify this. Okay. So again, we have A times D plus A plus D plus 1 minus BC equals 2. 1 plus AD minus BC. Okay, so... All right, this 1's cancel out. B, C's, B times C will cancel out, and A times D will cancel out. So we're left with, okay, so we're actually left with A plus D equals to zero. Okay, so therefore, okay, that's our, that's what we want to show. Okay, this is our conclusion. Okay. All right, so that is the Q. All right, so this is the proof of this statement.